So, you've decided to plant a tree in your yard. Now, what do you do? Hi, I'm JC, and today I'm gonna walk you through the proper steps for planting a tree. Before starting, there are a few important things to consider. First, you need to decide what tree you're going to plant. Make sure you choose a native tree that'll thrive in your growing zone. Your local Lowe's has an assortment of trees that will grow well in your area. And since I'm down here in Florida, I've decided to plant an orange tree. But the process is fundamentally the same for most trees. Once you've picked your tree, you need to pick where it's going. Consider how big the tree will get once it's fully grown. And does the tree need lots of sun or does it need lots of shade? All these details can be found on the tag that comes on every tree. They're a good way to figure out if the tree is right for the spot you want to plant it in. Also, be sure there are no underground utility lines where you plan to dig. Not sure where in your yard is safe? Most utility companies will gladly come out and mark your underground utilities for free. Now that you've picked your tree and you know where to plant it, it's time to put it in the ground. A good rule of thumb is to dig a hole that is twice the width of the container and just as deep. Once the hole is dug, loosen the soil at the bottom and on the sides. Loosening the soil makes it easier for the roots to embed themselves into the ground. It's a good idea to wet the entire hole as well to help the roots take hold. Next, remove the tree from the container. The easiest way to do this is to cut the container on both sides. Before putting the tree into the ground, loosen the root ball. This breaks the roots from the circular growth pattern and helps ensure strong, healthy root development. Just rake your fingers across the sides of the root ball like this. Now, let's slide the tree into the hole. Once the tree is in the ground, take a step back and make sure it looks level and it isn't leaning on either side. If your tree doesn't want to stay level, you can always use a stake to help it stand up straight. Now, backfill the hole with the soil you removed. As you're backfilling, lightly pack the soil. This helps eliminate air pockets. When the hole is about halfway full, I like to give the ground a healthy dose of water. This also eliminates air pockets and provides needed moisture for the roots. When the hole is completely filled with soil, it's time to give it another bath. The last step is adding a layer of mulch. This helps hold the moisture in and keep roots nice and cool for a healthy tree. I recommend adding at least two inches of mulch for good coverage. Now, for the most important part of the whole process, making sure the tree stays well watered until it's fully established. Some trees can take up to a full year to become properly established. To keep your tree adequately watered, you can water by hand or just put the whole thing on autopilot, which is what I'm going to do, using a simple drip irrigation system with a battery powered timer. So sit back, admire your handiwork, and enjoy the beautiful addition to your yard.